Hi everybody. Um, so this is my uh, little bench uh, bench top milling machine that I converted to CNC. Um, I decided to switch over to Linux CNC for controlling it. Um, I was using Gerbil on an Arduino. Uh, worked fine, but uh, Gerbil's kind of limited on on a few things. I wanted to be able to use cutter radius compensation. Um, uh, backlash compensation, screw compensation if I get to that point, um, you know, a few things like that. Also wanted to be able to use it with a pendant, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, some of that stuff is just not, not available in Gerbil. So uh, switched over to Linux CNC. Decided to try doing this with uh, um, a single board computer. So I'm using an Orange Pi, uh, which is that single board computer right there. It is connected to my parallel port breakout board, which is on the back of the machine. I just took a DB25 cable, um, cut it, and wired the, the loose end wires into um, connectors uh, to plug into the GPIO of the Orange Pi. Um, using the 7-inch monitor, um, just got that because it was really cheap and small. Uh, probably 10-inch would be better for me, but uh, um, this works fine. And, you know, if you get close enough, you can read it. Um, so the machine is wired with um, closed loop steppers um, that uh, have a fault. Uh, they, they, can, they can send a signal when, if, if a drive faults. And that's also wired into, uh, set up in Linux CNC uh, through the breakout board. Uh, my limit switches are wired up, so um, I've got homing ability. I'm using to, for the human interface, I'm using two things. I'm using this, uh, just this little USB keyboard trackpad combination. And I'm also using um, this uh, wireless pendant that I bought. Um, and I've got, got those all working. Um, so first, I guess I'll show you uh, homing the machine. Now the machine's already been running, so it's already been home, so it's gonna ask me again. Um, and it'll home Z first, then X, then Y. Um, while it's doing that, um, let me explain um, one aspect of my machine that's different than most. Um, I like to have um, the zero for my parts um, on the back right corner rather than the front left corner um, like most people do. So my table moves opposite directions uh, than most, uh, most people are used to. Um, so anyway, this is the pendant and, uh, just to show you that it can control the machine. Here's, I'll put it in step mode. I'll do, um, Z first. So Z negative, Z positive, and the soft limits are set up so I can't go too far. Um, Y, uh, this would be Y negative on my machine, Y positive, this would be X positive. X negative, and again, I can go only so far because of the soft limits. They're they're working just fine. Um, so the program that is currently loaded in the into the Linux CNC is just the default uh, uh, program that loads with the Axis interface, and it's uh, that uh, Linux CNC engraving type program. You can start the program from the pendant just by hitting the stop button first, and then hitting the start button. Well. Must not have pushed it hard enough. But anyway, there it goes. Um, it uh, seems to be running good. It seems to be running smooth. Um, I uh, I had it set up in Gerbil uh, for a maximum step rate of 30 kilohertz, and I duplicated the settings here, and everything seems to be working fine. Um, I have not uh, done a lot of extensive testing, but um, it seems like it's going to work work out just fine. Um, I do intend to um, put some links in to uh, to where I uh, I got the uh, uh, this this version of Linux CNC uh, that I'm using um, that works with this uh, ARM based um, Orange Pi board, um, and uh, also I'm going to put some notes together on some of the things we're. A little tricky at least for me to set up like the pendant and 
and getting uh, limits set up and things like that. But uh, I managed to get it done. And uh, like I said, it seems to be working fine. Uh, but I'll give some links and uh, and uh, enjoy it. Um, I'm going to shut it off now because watching this cut air is just kind of boring. Cheers.